This is Panda, and Panda has a poopy butt. I'll show you, but I cleaned her up earlier, so it's not too bad, but... She had really bad, kind of dark brown, uh, loose diarrhea. And she's been off and on the last couple of days, kind of having scouring, is what they call it. Anyway, so we're going to talk about what we've done for her so far. Um, the most important thing to remember is that when a kid has diarrhea, they can get dehydrated really, really easily. So, she's on electrolytes. Um, I've also got her on some homemade scour remedy, which is uh, yogurt. You can't use buttermilk. Yogurt, a raw egg, a little bit of cocoa, some baking soda, um, and I sometimes add a little molasses in there. I'll put a recipe with the correct measurements uh, for that and for the homemade electrolyte solution in the comments. So anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, why they get diarrhea. Um, one of the things that happens is that the transition between milk and solid foods, uh, often they'll get um, scouring just even from stress, but however, they also are very vulnerable for coccidia at that age. Um, anywhere between three weeks and six months, they're very vulnerable to coccidia. So if you have coccidia, you're going to see um, dark brown to black, typically um, loose stool. That can be worms or coccidia. Normally you're not really going to see worms in a kid this young, but you could. Um, and it's controversial to worm them at this age because it crosses the blood brain, brain barrier, but I'm going to worm her anyway. Anyways, also, you know, if the diarrhea is yellow or white, often you're just simply looking at milk scours that, um, you know, they're getting too much milk, and that can be from a bottle or from their mother. Now, if they're on a bottle and they're scouring really, really bad, then you want to take them off of the, off of the milk and feed only electrolytes till they clear up. Um, and that's usually, you know, you can usually clear them up fairly quick. Um, if they have black, tar-like, yellow to greenish gray, smelly, with a high fever, you, know, you could be looking at something like salmonella. A lot of these things you would need a vet to confirm, you know. Um, bright yellow, runny projectile poo can be E. coli. Um, dog poo, looking consistency, has good color and firm, but no berries. You need to just treat with some probiotics and watch them. If it's good, if your diarrhea has a green tint, it's typically a dietary thing. Um, sometimes they've had too much green grass or too much grain or whatever, um, and you want to do pro probiotics, and it'll usually correct them. Um, but if it's if it's really bad and stuff, and you feel like they're not doing well, you maybe need to treat to prevent enterotoxemia. Um, if they've got a big bunch of berries that's clumped together, but you can see the berries individually, it can be a little bit too much grain, or the, it can be too, a little too much graze, or it can be the start of something else, so treat with probiotics and watch them. If they've got overly dry poops, uh, it could mean that they're dehydrated. Putting plops treat with probiotics and keep an eye on them. Um, really runny and has no shape but not quite watery. Treat with probiotics. You can give kaolin, pectate, or scour halt, which is SpectroGuard. You can also do Pepto-Bismol, which I give her some Pepto and that at least slowed it down. Um, I gave her kids as two to five uh, mils of Pepto. I had an extra strength Pepto though, so I gave her I gave her a, a small dosage, it was like not quite two. Um, if they have really really watery poo, you can do probiotics, and you can do a CD antitoxin, uh, vitamin B complex shot, and electrolytes. A word on probiotics: um, research actually shows you're better off to use yogurt or something that's already liquid because once it's a powder and then goes into the gut and absorbs um, 
the acid of the stomach, it actually kills the probiotic inside the uh, capsules and the dry probiotics. So just use yogurt as probably your best bet. You can't get a probiotic paste, too. There's, they even make one for goats that might be effective. This is the most common thing, guys, that happens to sheep and, and, and baby goats is diarrhea. And it can be very serious, so you want to get on it as quickly as possible. Okay, this has been Panda and her poopy butt. <laughs> Thanks for watching.